Okay, it's Luxury Fred, and I am back in one of my favorite places in the whole world, especially in terms of my favorite luxury hotels in the whole world. I am at the incredible, the beautiful, the historic Beverly Hills Hotel, and boy, do I have a treat for you guys today. I'm going to give you a tour of one of the hotel's newly renovated celebrity bungalows. Um, if you've watched my YouTube channel, you've seen my tour of their bungalow that's inspired by Frank Sinatra, and you've seen my tour of their bungalow that's inspired by Elizabeth Taylor. Today, I'm going to bring you a tour of Bungalow 3A, which was inspired by their famous guest, Howard Hughes. And this bungalow is a bungalow that he actually stayed in. He liked to stay in Bungalow 3, this one, Bungalow 4, and then I'm hearing that he would rent five or six different bungalows and have uh, body doubles in them. So people never knew which one he was actually staying in. But I understand that he did actually stay in this one. So again, this is Bungalow 3. It's just been totally renovated and redone. Uh, again, inspired by Howard Hughes. Okay, so let's step inside and take a look at the magical Bungalow 3A inspired by Howard Hughes. Good afternoon, Mr. Sherman. I have your aviation cocktail ready for you. Thank you, Fernie. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure. And Cheers. Thank you. So this is a three-bedroom bungalow, and it goes for $8,500 a night. All the decor inside is inspired by Howard Hughes, of course, who was a great aviator. So we have a lot of airplane stuff, airplane artwork. We have some model airplanes and things like that. We have airplane related books, uh, also car books because he was a big car guy. Um, and you can see that the overall design, the feeling, the decor is very masculine in this suite. Something else cool is they have this chair with kind of an aluminum outline, which is kind of inspired by the aircraft that Hughes built and flew. Uh, the suite has a working fireplace, which is rather rare here in Los Angeles, and just a really beautiful, you know, kind of men's club uh, design here. Very nice uh, vibe to it. Uh, moving on, we have the dining room area, and we have uh, roast beef sandwiches here because when Mr. Hughes stayed here, he would like his, he liked roast beef sandwiches and he would have them delivered uh, in a tree outside. He didn't like them brought into the actual bungalow. He had them put into a tree and then they would let him know that they were there and then he would sneak outside and grab them out of the tree. I don't know, he was a strange guy. Uh, this suite also has this, um, Kitchen, it's more than a kitchenette, it's kind of a full little kitchen here um, where you can prepare your own meals, you can have guests or a party over, or a lot of times if you're staying here, uh, the hotel chef, Calio Adams, can come and prepare your meals for you here and then serve you if you want to eat inside the bungalow. So again, we have this very nice uh, dining area here. Moving on into the master bedroom, uh, you can again see that kind of masculine vibe, uh, beautiful furnishings, beautiful style and design. Uh, I really like it. It's masculine, but you know, I think anyone would like it. And again, you have the little accents like the airplane here. Moving on, we have um, an outdoor patio area here. It's your own private little outdoor space where you can have guests or have meals and things like that. Uh, some of the other bungalows do have uh, little outdoor jacuzzis or swimming pools, but this does not. 
And coming back inside, let me give you a look at the master bathroom here. We have this closet and dressing area. And then this beautiful master bathroom, you have a view out to the uh, patio there and just incredible uh, green marble throughout. Very, very cool. Again, this is a multi-bedroom bungalow, uh, so you do have two additional bedrooms here. Um, these are blocked off because they can either be part of the suite or when they're locked off, they can be individual hotel rooms that the hotel can rent that are separate from this space. So if you want to stay in quote unquote a regular room, but you don't want to be in the main building, you could get what they call a bungalow room and that's one of those there, but it would not connect to this main space. Uh, also, when you rent this bungalow, if you rent all three bedrooms, then you get a three bedroom bungalow and those doors are open and you can access them, but they're also self-contained hotel rooms. So that gives you a look at this incredible suite. We have uh, Fernie over there. And the one thing I love about the Beverly Hills Hotel is the people, because any hotel can spend a lot of money on design and fancy furniture and stuff like that. But it's the people that work there that make a difference. This hotel has been open for over 100 years. It opened in 1912. A lot of the people that worked here have worked here for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, that kind of thing. And you really get a sense that they love what they do and they love sharing the experience with the guests that come here. And also you have people that are work, have worked here for a long time that see guests that they know their parents and their grandparents because they've worked here so long. So it's a great atmosphere, both whether you come here to stay at the hotel or even if you just come here for a meal at the Polo Lounge or a drink at the Polo Lounge or a drink at uh, Bar 1912, which is their uh, really cool bar. So just wanted to add that, that that's to me what makes this a very special place and what makes it the best luxury hotel in Los Angeles, if not the world. And of course, the Beverly Hills Hotel is part of Dorchester Collection, which is nine of the best hotels in the world. Beverly Hills Hotel, Hotel Bel Air in Los Angeles, Le Maurice and Plaza Athene in Paris, uh, Principe di Savoia in Milan, Hotel Eden in Rome, the Dorchester in London and Coworth Park in London and 45 Park Lane in London. I think that's all nine. Uh, so that is it. That concludes the tour. Let me um, take you outside and show you a little more here. We have a little kind of, oh, this is a little guest bathroom with lots of windows here. And we'll say goodbye to Fernie. Bye-bye. And uh, then you have kind of a front entry area here. There's the main hotel building, and you're about 10 steps away from the Polo Lounge and the other amenities at the hotel. And you even have a little orange tree. Okay, so that concludes the tour. Again, this was Bungalow 3A, inspired by Howard Hughes. If you like what you see, hey, click like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more great luxury hotel stuff. If you check my channel, you'll see a bunch of other videos from my visits here to the Beverly Hills Hotel and tours of some of their other fantastic suites and rooms. And of course, follow me on social media at Luxury Fred. My food stuff is at Eat With Fred and my auto stuff is at Drive With Fred. Thank you very much for watching.